Most suspension forks available today offer a range of adjustments to get them feeling just the way you want, and the most obvious options out there tend to be air sprung. As well as adjusting the air spring in the fork to suit your body weight, you can adjust compression and rebound damping, but also the air volume. Air volume adjustment takes care of the initial breakaway force under small bumps and how the fork ramps up through bigger hits. So with the RockShox Yari and a Fox 34, we're going to demonstrate how to change the air volume of your fork. What are volume spacers? Volume spacers like these are small plastic spacers that install into the air chamber of the fork. And what they do is decrease the size of the air chamber, basically by increasing and decreasing the air volume. By doing that, you make the fork feel more progressive. Before air spacers like these, you used to do this by adjusting the oil height. It had the same effect, a bit more fiddly to adjust and a lot messier. Thankfully, fitting air volume spacers is very easy. Why do you need to adjust the air volume in your forks? Okay, so when you've got your sag set up correctly, you wanna monitor how much travel you're using on your fork on a regular basis, and also in sort of demanding conditions. And then you wanna ask yourself a few questions. Do you use all that travel and how often? Do your forks feel too firm and uncomfortable? Do they dive too much in cornering or under braking? So the riding characteristics of a fork with no volume spaces in will feel slightly more linear to one with spaces in. Air itself, when it's in a confined space, is naturally progressive. It means it ramps up the more you compress it. However, certain forks with different lengths of travel and that can feel quite linear, and the effect of that is it will feel quite firm at the beginning of travel, the initial breakaway force to make the fork move, and you might end up blowing through that travel too much. While some riders like that, it might not suit the riding style that you have. If you like riding hard terrain, jumping, dropping, stuff like that, you want the fork to ramp up more towards the end of travel. By installing volume spaces into the fork, you're making the fork ramp up and firm up towards the end of travel, and you're also making the fork feel different through the rest of the travel. It's possible to make the fork sit up more in the mid stroke, so a fork will feel more controlled under braking or into turns, and also the initial breakaway force is gonna feel slightly less so the fork will feel super grippy and really comfortable. So we're gonna do the air volume spacer adjustment on a RockShox fork first. This is a Yari, so all you need to do that are the relevant spacers you put inside. A 24 mm socket to undo the top of the fork, shock pump, and some suspension grease. Okay, so I said before you can do this with the fork on the bike. I'm just doing this with my steerer tube clamped in a workstand just to show you. So first things first is remove the air cap on the top of the fork and attach a shock pump to it so you can note down the air pressure that's in your fork. This will make it easier when setting the fork back up again at the end to so get you out on the trail quicker. So I'm just gonna attach the shock pump to the fork, take note of the pressure that's in there and just let the air out. That is done. I'm just gonna check that it's all out just by depressing the valve itself. There we go, that's fully deflated. Now using a 24 mil socket, make sure it's a decent socket, nice sharp edge because you don't want to damage the, the top of the fork here. And you just want to undo this on the top. Again, take your time. You don't want the tool to slip because so it's an aluminium top cap. Okay, now it's ready to remove. And that is your air top cap. Now, the RockShox system is very simple. All you need to do is simply screw in the required amount of spaces that you want into the top. They've got plastic thread on them, so you don't want to over tighten them. If you feel you need to nip it up tighter, there is an eight mil Allen key socket on the inside there, so you can just stack them up as you like. I'm gonna put three into this RockShox Yari fork. You have to bear in mind that on certain forks you can only fit a certain amount of spaces. For example, the 200 mil travel boxer you can fit four spacers, whereas you can fit six in a 29 inch 120 mil fork. So just check the chart on the RockShox website for that. Now just before you install them into the fork, you just wanna put a little bit of grease just on the O-ring around the top. And then install back into the fork again. Just make sure that sits in straight. And that's how simple it is. And noting the air pressure that you released from the fork to start with, just connect the shock pump and reinflate. 
So there you go, it's that simple to install bottomless tokens, air volume spacers, into RockShox fork. Of course, I put three into this particular fork and that's the way I like this fork set up. It's down to you, experiment a bit, try a single spacer, try two or three. You've got to figure out what feels right for you. Okay, now we're gonna look at the same process but with the Fox 34. So it's very similar, they also use plastic spacers inside and instead of having a 24 mil socket on the top, it's a 26. Equally as important with the Fox is to make sure you've got a good quality socket that won't round off the top of your fork. First up with the Fox is to remove the air cap, same as the Rock Shocks, and then you just wanna attach the shock pump, take note of the pressure that's in there for later on, and then just deflate the fork. You might find that you can't get all the air out with the shock pump, you might need to sort of just depress the valve afterwards. If you do that, just be careful. Now using the socket, carefully remove the top cap of the fork, Again, make sure it's a quality socket and make sure that it connects properly at the top. You do not want to round the top of this off. As you can see on this fork, it's actually got two spaces inside already. I'm going to add an extra one to that. The RockShox units screw together. The Fox ones are simply clipped together, just like that. And it's just a case of applying a little bit of grease just to the O-ring, just like we did with the RockShox offering, and then reinstall. Carefully line up the threads, screw the top cap back into place, and tighten with your socket. Now simply reinflate just to the desired pressure and you're good to go and hit the trails. Okay, so that was using a Fox 34 as an example for installing air volume spacers. Nice and simple. The same with the Rock Shocks. Hit the trails, experiment, see what it feels like with one, two, three. Find your sweet spot and then let rip. Hopefully it's been an informative video for you and you'll be inspired to do exactly the same at home. Uh, if you wanna know a bit more about stuff, so click up here if you wanna see a fork lower leg service. Really good practical video. Works on the Fox and on the Rock Shocks option. And if you want to see some tubeless setup mistakes, click down here. Uh, click on the globe to subscribe. There's a brand new video every single day. And of course, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up.